All right, welcome back everybody. We want to get you up to date with the latest on WSAV.com. Digital reporter Sean Watkins is here to give us a rundown of what's trending and what uh, he's working on. So what are you working on today? Well, let's talk college savings mm. since this time of year is called college season. Yeah. That's when parents of many seniors begin preparing to send their kids to university in the fall. But when a lot of parents are really stressed about how you're going to pay for it, so a new program called Secure 2.0 can help you not only save for your child's college education, but save for their retirement. I spoke with Chris McGee, the chair of the College Savings Foundation, a nonprofit organization that helps Americans achieve their education saving goals, on what this program does and how families can benefit. So he told me that Secure 2.0 allows for families to put unused college savings money for 529s into a Roth RAA. And that helps to kill two birds with one stone, as 529s are savings accounts that are easy to open and grow tax-free. Mm. The money in 529s can be used for things like tuition, fees, books, and computers. Starting early can make a huge impact in helping your child not rely on student loans. For example, saving $100 every month for 18 years accumulates to $35,000. In contrast, borrowing $35,000 results in a repayment totaling 52,000 over a decade. Mm. And it's never too late to save even when your child's in high school because having money in a 529 savings can also help after college as the Department of Labor reports that the average American will change careers five to seven times in their working life. So having that money saved up can help you or your child enroll in education and career training. So I asked McGee how parents can teach their children financial literacy and its importance. Take a look. I, I think, you know, being a parent and having had those conversations, they're best had around the dinner table and they're best let your children mm -hmm. see you pay bills. Let your children mm -hmm. come in and understand the obligations that you have and how you earn money to pay for those obligations. And I recommend there are several really good programs online that will help you provide, a, I think, a very good foundation in financial literacy for your children. Yeah, so you guys can learn more at WSAV.com slash now. I love that. It was good advice that you gave. And the key that a lot of people miss about saving is you have to budget saving as well mm. so that you don't go back and get the money. Yes. Put away enough money that makes an impact, but not so much that you have to go back and get it. And grab on into it. Yeah, yeah. and you face a penalty if you do it from an IRA, that sort of thing. All right, real quick, what's trending? So what we have trending is the 500 pound ball of pythons found in a Florida marsh. I don't even want to know about that, so let's move on. <laughs> um, yeah. And the next is, when is St. Patrick's Day 2025? Is it on a Sunday? It's going to be on a Monday. On a Monday, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So not too much drinking this time. And <laughs> Oh, I think... I and think then, they'll put a dent in it you still. Know. Yeah. <laughs> and then lastly, Savannah St. Patrick's Day Parade 200th anniversary, yeah. the whole video, the parade, and all the coverage. Love that at WSAV.com slash St. Patrick's Day. Yes. I was trying to figure out how to say the drinking thing diplomatically, but I don't <laughs> think that will be an issue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> even if it's on a Sunday. All right, Sean, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.